there was a grieving process that, that started with the moment. The moment of awareness. You can see it here. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross codified this. She passed away about a year or so ago. This whole idea, it has to do with loss. Anyone here, if you've lost a spouse, if you've lost a loved one, if you've lost an appendage, if you've lost a dream, you know what this is all about. I don't care how many letters you have behind your name. I don't care how much experience. I don't care how many books you've read about this. It's part of the human condition. It's part of living life in our shoes. Dealing with the grieving process. And the way I was able to figure this out in some way is that when I talked with men about their experience of the moment, that first of all there was denial and then you can see the the anger the bargaining maybe when I get my MBA maybe when I get my PhD maybe when I when I drive this type of car maybe when I get to park in that special spot maybe when I get my office with that special look that special view things will be different it could be called destination sickness once you arrive at that destination realizing that things are worse than previously anticipated the pit of despair, suicidal thinking, the uh, all kinds of, of challenges of trying to figure out how to work this thing through. I don't want to over-dramatize this. I don't think I can over-dramatize it. But the, the whole, what goes on inside of the heart. And that's why what I'm communicating today, I can only explain a thimbleful. I can't explain, but I can report. Acceptance, at least when someone dies, six, seven months, a year, two years, three years, there's some level of acceptance because there's finality. There's no way to get him or her back. They're gone. Every time we visit the grave site, we were, it's, we're reminded of it. But when there's racism and bigotry and, and just the, I remember one gentleman told me this, he said, he said that, uh, this gentleman owns, I'm not going to tell you the name of the business, but he owns a very large business in the D.C. Baltimore area. And he says, when I come into a convenience store, my wife is saying, pick, it up, a, pick up a gallon of milk. He says, I can't begin to explain it to you. He says, it's like someone just kind of, kind of, kind of brushes by and grunts or move, uh, makes a, a noise or just an attitude. He says, there's something about it. And he, even if they see what kind of car I'm driving, or I could buy this whole franchise from Maine to, to, to Florida if I wanted to. That even makes it worse in some ways. This is the, the grieving process. And this is what I became aware of uh, to the measure of my ability to be aware of it as people have shared their stories. <clears throat> 